You or anybody you know suffer from being institutionalized? Well, stay tuned, get my opinion and my perspective, and maybe that will help at the new Matt Clark. people thank each and every one of you all 747 of you it means the world to me matt clark here at the new matt clark on this beautiful monday thank you for tuning in to another episode today we're going to be speaking on what institutionalized are you institutionalized am i institutionalized and is there any way to get out of it if you are so for me being institutionalized means many things but for me the main thing is being more comfortable in prison than on the street. That is the simplest definition, definition of being institutionalized. And for the longest time, that was my life. You know, I ducked responsibility. I ducked bills. I ducked building my credit, getting my license. I ducked uh, having kids, having a job. All because I was institutionalized. And I would rather steal for my money. Now, I think the system... Help create that. Now, when I first came through New Market, New Market Court, when I was young, they never tried to rehabilitate me. Okay, they put me in jail, and they would literally just give me these little slap on the wrist sentences, plea bargains, and that's what they do. They give you plea bargain, plea bargain, plea bargain. They make you think you're getting these great deals. They don't ever offer you any support so you can actually change or make a better decision in the future. And they create a revolving door policy because as soon as they have you, they hammer you. The deals stop. And it's a way to stack your record. I'm from New Market Court. New Market Court has a 98% conviction rate. How does a courthouse have a 98% conviction rate? There's no way that 98% of the people charged at New Market Court are guilty. Not, not a chance. You're telling me that no women are making false domestic charges or false rape charges or guys are making false dope dealing charges and snitching stuff that isn't factual. You're telling me that this doesn't... 98% conviction rate to me is not possible and it's because the revolving door policy created. Now, also institutionalization means the fear and anxiety of being around people. Uh, now that's something I've always dealt with you know, after abuse and trauma and stuff, that's normal. But when you come out of a long stretch in prison, you always have fear of large groups of people or the unknown. So things that have changed. Uh, like my first three and a half year stretch, I came out super aggressive. I couldn't be around any of my friends' friends. I wanted to fight anytime anybody said anything to me. Uh, I was so hot headed at that time and I was not looking to change. This was, what, 2008? And I was still caught up. But uh, it wouldn't have mattered even if I did want to change because I was so messed up mentally. Now, when you spend so much time around cons and you're not given any real programming or counseling or psychologists or any of that stuff, then it establishes a pattern in your brain and this becomes the norm. And I literally became comfortable in prison. Like, how terrible is that? You know what I mean? Like, I have this great family, uh, good friends, and just a great life that I didn't have to run from. But institutionalized, being institutionalized turned me into a drug addict because I figured there was no hope. And if there's no hope, then why are you going to change? Right? Why are you going to work on things and bettering yourself if nobody gives you any goddamn reason to change? If everybody's telling you you're going to be a failure forever, that's what you're going to be. You know, this, that's, we need to be uplifted. We need to be motivated. We need somebody in our ear telling us how great we are, how strong and how smart we are. We don't need to be torn down by our politicians, by regular people in society who judge us and place stigma on us, not only for being prisoners, but also addicts. You know, obviously I got caught up. And I did a lot of terrible things in my life, but I'm not a bad person. 
and I have wanted to get out of the system since I was 25 years old and was never able to because I was always caught up on parole or probation or getting tied into stupid crap that's not even criminal. Now, if you're in the federal system in Canada, you always get out at your two thirds. If you, it's called your stat release. If you don't get out at your stat release, you've created some kind of major problem on the inside or, or uh, uh, acted out very violently over the stretch of your time. That's the only way you're losing your stat. Now, when you get out on your two thirds, you're on parole for your last one third. Now, you don't need to be charged with a crime to breach your parole. So me personally, my parole is abstain from alcohol and hard drugs because I'm allowed to smoke weed. It is uh, do not associate with anybody actively involved in criminal activity. Do not attend anywhere where al alcohol is the primary source of income. So I can't go to any bars. I can't go to any strip clubs, liquor store, beer store, any of that stuff. Uh, I have to report all finances. So... I can't make any money and not tell my PO. Plus, I have to do your analysis and I have to report to the police station once a month just for good measures because they love to see me up there. I know they do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's just really a shady system that's built to keep you trapped. It's like a hamster wheel. The only way out of it is to take charge. It's a lot harder to get out of provincial system because they'll constantly tack probation on, probation, probation, probation. But if you're in the federal system, you don't get probation. When your parole is done, it's done. So anytime you finish a federal sentence, as long as you don't get new charges and keep stacking up charges, you will have an opportunity where your time comes to an end and you will have zero conditions. Now, that's happened to me twice in the past. And both times I failed because I wasn't ready. But this time, I'm not even at my warrant expiry yet. And I'm already more successful than I've ever been in the past as an adult. Institutionalization is a terrible thing. It will keep you wrapped up, caught up in a shitty life where you're not able to grow and really achieve what's destined for you. Now, if you want to hit me up on Instagram at the new Matt Clark, I'm always here all one word, small letters. I'm always here to talk to you about addiction, prison, mental health, anything that you need support on because that is my message. And uh, honestly, I, I really just want to speak from the heart. Like, think about this. My brother's coming home, okay? He's been in 24 years. Imagine the fear he has every night before he goes to bed. I bet you he can't sleep and he won't sleep probably until he gets out. 20, when he got arrested, there was no internet. Cars were still squares. Uh, cell phones were like this big. It was a totally different time. And now he's going to have to adjust. And that's his own fault. He made his bed. Like, it's going to be a scary time. Now, he was smart enough to save money and prepare himself, get a job, have all that ready. And that's something you need to do in order to escape the wheel. I really hope that... Uh, my message gets through to everybody. I really hope that anybody who's suffering with being institutionalized right now can really give their head a shake because it is not the answer. It is not. I'm telling you, prison is not the answer. It is a total waste of life, a total waste of time, and a total waste of your talent. And believe me, everybody has a talent. Uh, everybody has an ability to be better. And uh, I really, 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 really hope that I can help you achieve that and find what your talent is, uh, as you are all helping me do with mine. So please hit that like button. Please hit that bell notification button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please share and please just spread the message. Uh, I have a PayPal if anybody just wants to donate, support the channel, help me get a new camera. Uh, the link will be in the description. I love each and every one of you at the new Matt Clark.